New at five, a major player in what prosecutors are calling the Miski Enterprise testified today in the criminal conspiracy case against alleged crime boss Michael Miski. Kristen Concilio was in court as Jake Smith, who earlier admitted to being an enforcer for the criminal enterprise, took the stand. He just told him he's gone. So, you know, I think everybody's wanting to know what happened to Johnny Fraser. When Jake Smith, one of the prosecution's key witnesses, asked Michael Miski that question, he says that's the only answer he got. Federal prosecutors allege Miski ordered the torture and murder of Jonathan Frazier, blaming him for an accident that killed his son. Prosecutors meticulously combed through text messages between Smith, Miski, and other associates as they questioned Smith about his role in the so-called Miski enterprise. He's admitted to being part of the racketeering conspiracy that Miski allegedly directed and that he assaulted people on request and he was paid a thousand dollars or a couple of thousand dollars each time he did that. And if Miski asked, he, he assaulted them. Smith told prosecutors he was not involved in the killing of Frazier, but had heard about it from other Miski associates. In his testimony, he described a series of assaults and armed robberies, many of them against other drug dealers. But Smith says he felt protected by Miski. He testified that he wasn't afraid about retaliation from people he robbed because they were part of Miski's group and people were afraid of them. Prosecutors are slowly laying out a case of racketeering, kidnapping, assaults, chemical attacks, and the alleged murder of Frazier, whose body has never been found. Jurors are still, they don't know what the big picture is yet. And they're just slowly putting a piece in the puzzle here and a piece over here and a piece over here. And you wonder how are they going to wrap it all together so that they'll see the picture. The trial's expected to continue over the next few months with cross-examination over the next few days. Kristen Concilio, Island News.